Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Truth Be Told, where the truth of God is revealed. I pray that these messages are, are enlightening you, are bringing uh, awareness to how we can implement the Word of God in our lives every single day. This is a, a life choice. This is a lifestyle. It's a kingdom perspective. This is not, I'm not speaking to the ones that don't understand their spirituality. You know, you're a spirit being living in a body, right? And this body is a temple of God. It houses the temple, houses the spirit of God, which is inside of you. And that means that we have an assignment. We have a purpose and we are to live differently. We're to sanctify ourselves daily as we walk in this, in this fallen world, right? So I want to talk to you about, uh, the one of a kind. We're one of a kind. In Ephesians 2.10, it says that we are his workmen created in Christ Jesus, right? So, um, one of my friends gave me a pair of shoes, uh, and they didn't really fit, but they were really cute. So I had them on one day, and they were really uncomfortable, and I got a, a revelation. And God says, why are you trying to fit into someone else's shoes? You can't fit into anyone else's shoes. I made you specifically uh, for one purpose, for a different purpose. You you can only fit in the shoe that I gave you. See, God made us. God made me to be one of a kind, just like He made you to be one of a kind. I'm literally one in a million. <laughs> I have something called the Marcus Gun Eye Winking Phenomenon. Basically, my eyelid nerve and my jaw nerve are connected. So when I move my jaw, my eye moves. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So when I tell people I'm one in a million, I'm not kidding, baby. So anyway, look it up. So the point I'm trying to make is that one size doesn't fit all and we cannot fit someone else's shoe. God made us specifically on purpose for a purpose. And until you realize what that purpose is, you're going to be walk, you're going to, you're going to be on, on Satan's hamster wheel of lies, just on that hamster wheel, day and night, day and night, getting exhausted, not getting anywhere, boo-boo. Okay. So I pray today that you just stop. Take a breath. Listen to God's small, still voice. Tune into his frequency. He's talking to you. God is talking to each and every one of us because we all have an assignment. We have a purpose. And until we walk in the in God's purpose for our lives, we're never going to be fulfilled. It ain't not enough money, not enough men, women, drugs, alcohol, booze, whatever you call it. You know, not enough vanity, not enough plastic surgery. It don't matter what you get. If you're not filled on the inside, that God-shaped hole that only God can fill, that only he can occupy, you cannot fill that space with anything else or anyone else. It's like putting a bandaid on an artery, bleed, honey. It just don't work. You bleed out. So I pray that you get this message into your spirit and that it bears much fruit for the kingdom of God, that you understand that you are special. You are made specifically. It's like that piece of puzzle, that only one piece of puzzle that fit. That's you, baby. And without that piece, the puzzle is not complete. Don't you get it? You are the body of Christ. We need you. So I pray that you stand up <coughs> and take your proper place in the kingdom. Because I know I'm fulfilling my purpose, okay, every day. <coughs> In Jesus' name, I love you guys. I am on Standing Strong Street and Believing Boulevard. Where you at? Holla.